Oh, this is not the point yet. Uh, there, there is a point where most people stop and literally walk all the way back through the dungeon so that they can start grinding there. I will show you when that point is, but it is not yet. Uh, one thing I don't want to do here is step back on the green switch that will teleport me back and I'll have to fight these heck hounds again. Heck hounds, not important. Not important at all. We still have a few enemies to go over. Let's see, we've gone over um, whimpers, we've gone over wolf lords, we've gone over tsunamis, we've gone over fiend heads. And I think that is it. We still have a few to go over. Is there anything over here? Uh, wolf lord again. But he got whacked. Um, this place can be quite complicated, but you know, there, there's not really a point going anywhere. Else, other than the main way, and this this is the easiest way I know how to get there, taking out turt lances, but uh, useless, you don't drop anything for me. So let's just head up here, um, take on Dark Stalkers. Once again, not the ninjas we are looking for, they will be a different color. Uh, these guys aren't really good for anything. Pretty much anything that you have seen in a previous dungeon is is not going to drop an orb or the best equipment in the game. He did drop a chest, though. Very rare that anybody drops a chest, as, as I'm sure you've noticed. Less than 10% for most enemies. I think rabbites have like an 8 out of 64, which is, well, still 1 out of 8. Something ridiculous. Uh, weapon drops in this game. All right, let's head across here. This probably wasn't the fastest one, actually, now that I look at it. So let's just skip these ducks. The ducks are, are, are not tough. They don't. They just take too damn long. All right, so through here, you do need a whip and some sort of chopping instrument. We'll try to take on anything that we come across that can drop an orb, like this whimper here. Uh, on the off sh shoot that I actually do get it. Um, I am fully expecting not to get any uh, weapon orb, or even one of the upgrade items, to be honest with you, uh, because out of a four out of 64 one out of 16 chance of these guys one of them dropping something that i want uh i don't think i'm, I'm coming across 16 of them and knowing my luck i'm probably gonna need like 32 kills before one of them drops a treasure chest <laughs> that, is, that is not fun waiting for that kind of stuff to happen uh, more wolf lords that is definitely something that i want to kill unfortunately this guy can be tough um if you let them. A lot of these enemies are very difficult. I'm not having difficulty with them, but that does not mean that they are not difficult in and of themselves at times. Lava Wave. I don't remember if that is tough or not. Eh, decent. Decent. Unremarkable, so that's probably why I don't remember it. Alright, then head up here and around. I'm sure you guys can figure this out. Nope. Nope, they can't. They cannot figure out this very simple pattern by themselves. Basically, the way that we want to go is um, up, into the, up into the right. That is, that is our main objective here. Uh, this place is quite complicated. It's somewhat maze-like, but that's really because they are expecting you to do level grinding here. Um... But I'll, I'll show you, once again, the point at which most people back off and leave. And Basilisks! It's been a while since we've seen Basilisks. These are the guys that will drop the gauntlet, if I remember correctly. Uh, but we have seen them before, and we all have gauntlets. So there's no point in me uh, farming those anymore. Um, they're not too common here, the, uh, the Basilisks. Anything that does drop an orb is, thankfully, very common. Um, but still... Getting them to, to to drop what you want is not. Alright, let's step on this. And we are up against a dread slime. This guy is what I was fearing before when we were fighting the lime slime. This is, um, yeah, dread slime. Uh, but uh, the last guy was lime slime. You want to use uh, dark force on him. Um, to make sure that he does not attack you. Uh, he can attack you for quite a bit. Um, I believe at level seven I just need to do three and then heal. And that should be, that should do max damage. I get 10 back, as you can see, we're, we'll easily gain uh, stuff back. Yeah, there we go, max damage. Can I do it with two? 
Well, I'll stick with three. It's fine. We're still gaining stuff back from that, so we might as well uh, do three. And then heal. And I mean, that's that's what really makes this an easy fight at this point. Pretty much everything is pretty damn easy. I feel cheap chaining magic like this, uh, but. Uh, this guy, if you remember right, or as you can see, actually, um, is pretty much, well, he's not immune to physical damage, but you have to charge up uh, quite a bit if you want to do a um, good amount of damage. I think if I leveled up Jake to level 6, I should probably do max damage on him, but it's a lot easier just to go through this, especially considering how devastating his magic attacks are. Uh, so as you can see, I'm still doing... Um, Six damage to him. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm casting three dark forces, which cost me six MP, and then I'm healing eight off of him. So we're still gaining here. Slowly gaining, but we're still gaining. It works out well in the end, and it makes this fight and all these fights pretty, pretty damn easy, I must say. Oh, we only got five out of that. So we're finally getting to the point where he might start. Uh, start draining our MP a bit. And as you can see, he is growing. Lime Slime shrank. Dread Slime grows. That's an easy way to keep him separated. Plus, Dread Slime is tougher, because he's dreadful. One more. Just Dark Force all day. And then heal. This is the beauty of leveling up the magic. The downside, of course, being that you can't get the weapon levels all the way up, but I am, I am more than happy to make that trade-off, and if you have... Um, ever tried to get uh, weapon levels up all the way, you'll probably agree with me. Magic is much, much more beneficial for you to level up as opposed to the weapons. Weapons, in fact... Uh, God, did I go over this or not? Um, there's no real practical point to, lep to level grinding your weapons. Ah, there we go. Down he goes to, to grinding your level weapon levels past 8-0. After that, it does nothing. You can get them up to 899, uh, just like the magic, but the uh, the weapon's no point in getting them past 8-0. It doesn't do anything for you. Way to go! And we don't get an orb out of that, but we do get a level up. And this is the point at which uh, most people will uh, completely exit the dungeon, save, uh, and then come back to level grind. So you don't have to take on those bosses again. In fact, I'm actually uh, going to leave and uh, drop a save as well, and I'll meet you back here. Alright, let's move on. For whatever reason, let's move over here, and we do have not the ninjas that I'm looking for. Is that the one up there that I'm looking for? I think it is. It is! That is the Master Ninja! He is the holder of the fifth orb that we are looking for. He also drops um, some armor. <laughs> Hold on for a second, let me check my notes as he fucking sacrifices me. Are you kidding me? Do you see how much damage he did already? That is not good. That is not good at all. I don't have to revive him. Fuck. Alright, so a couple wishes because I was being a little bit overly cautious about the magic usage. Hooray, on Jake. Okay, uh, Master Ninja, he drops Boomerang Orb. You only need one of those, so uh, that that's good. Bad thing is he is incredibly tough. He also drops uh, Fairy Cloaks, uh, which are the best uh, body armors for um, Shion and Yonsu, for the girl and the sprite. Um, I'll go over all the bonuses of, of those later, you know, with the perfect, uh, with my perfect party, uh, at, afterwards, after all this. But we do have another kind of enemy, and I believe this is the last one that I need to go over. Uh, this is the Terminator up top. Um, Terminator is the, uh, highest level and... Well, I would say the Master Ninja is tougher, but he is supposedly the toughest enemy that you can face in the game, outside of bosses. Um, 
I think he cast a lucid barrier on himself. And you have to uh, charge up in order to hit him. Uh, no, we still didn't do any damage to him. Okay, so he, uh, on top of dropping another orb, which I will get to in a second. Uh, let me kill him first, and I'll go over what he drops. Because this guy can be quite annoying, as you can see, we're not doing any damage to him. He got whacked, though. There we go. Finally getting whacked. Still does damage to him. Okay, so Terminators. Uh, they are the highest level enemy in the game. I believe they're level 68. Uh, they drop whip orbs. You only need one of those. And they also drop a helmet. They drop the fairy crowns, uh, which are the best uh, helmets in the game for both uh, the Sprite and for Xion. For Yancy and for Xion. The girl and the sprite. And I think that is the last thing that I need to go over. I think that is all of them. All the, the best drops in the game, including the orbs, I think I have gone over now, which gives me quite a bit of relief, to be honest with you. I don't like having that much information going into a session that I need to get out of it um, as we go along. It makes me very, very nervous that I'm going to say something wrong. Uh, but I believe that everything that I have said is right. I may have misspoken, but I'm pretty sure everything that I said was right. I, <laughs> I lack confidence. And we have reached level 68, so now we're the same level as uh, the Terminator, which makes it very, very tough uh, if you want to level grind anything more with the weapons. But like I said, not very much uh, practicality to leveling those up all the way, other than possibly... Uh, getting them up to, uh, gr like, grinded, what, what do I want to say, uh, going to watch to get them all the way up after getting the orbs, but in terms of your use with them, not, not so much. Um, I don't, you can do it, but, um, really that's for charging up, which, as, as you can see, I don't do very often, especially outside of, uh, fight, uh, boss battles, um, and the Master Ninja, once again, that guy to me is the toughest enemy here. He can do quite a bit of damage. And I think this is... No, this is not the room that I'm thinking of. <laughs> Armored Man apparently sucks. 